After a long winter, I was finally on the water again, floating on the Mississippi River in my kayak on the upper end of the gorge that runs from Minneapolis and into St. Paul on the Mississippi River. A half a dozen vultures flew across the river and then performed a series of graceful circles just to the north of me. I passed under a series of bridges that span the water and that highly urbanized portion of the river, and downstream I went. There was little if any current in that section of the river. The stillness was likely due to the water backing up as a result of the downstream lock and dam number one combined with the deepened dredged river channel that allowed barges to navigate through the city. The river in this urban setting had a particular smell to it, a metallic chemical odor of some sort. There was also a layer of scum that had accumulated on the water surface in the non-turbulent areas. The scum was a light tan mixture of foam, growth, and floating sediment that covered the water and adhered to my paddle and kayak as I floated through it. Many outfall pipes lined the shores of the river and dumped their contents into it. The pipes ranged in size from six inch diameter PVC pipes to over six foot arched concrete tunnels that were large enough to paddle up. Some provided convenient roosting platforms for the resident Canadian geese. Odors of sulfur or sewage wafted out of some of them as their contents poured into the river. Most of the liquid coming out of the pipes appeared rather clear and hopefully contained only non-contaminated cooling waters or storm water. Some of the pipes had a strange and colorful growth protruding from them. These growths seemed to thrive in the outfall's warm and wet environments, which led me to believe there was more in them than just clear water. Graffiti artists had used the outfalls along with most of the other man-made structures that plastered the riverbanks to display their original creations of art, while natural rocks or trees were free from the artwork. Was there some hidden message in the locations of their exhibits? Perhaps a reminder that more of the natural environment needed to be allowed to exist along the river. The shores were filled with bridge abutments, walls, rocks, and concrete lined with trash. These structures had been placed to keep the river from washing out the banks in human constructions above that they supported. It was too bad that the river could not build walls of its own to hold back the impacts of humanity from its flows. I hoped that my initial greetings from the circling vultures were not a warning of the pending death of the river, or perhaps collapse of our own society, but rather a reminder of the need to find a way to exist in harmony with the great river that flowed through our community.